we're gonna get started. I have a lot to show you today. Uh, I'm already having trouble speaking at the beginning of a live stream. Look at that. It's been a while since I've gone live, you know, because of Steve's live streaming schedule mainly, and I also haven't felt like going live, but the actual main reason was because of Steve's schedule and him having to do those stupid public streams. So hopefully he'll have the internet back next week. He's not going live today because he's not feeling well, so I'm taking over. And I do have a lot to show you. For one, back porch Commander 3, no longer there. I have that in my hand. The Commander 3 on my wall is still there, however. See? That didn't go nowhere. That's not going to go nowhere either. That's staying. I do have a, a new alarm on the back porch, which I'm going to show you later. You might know what it is if you saw my video I posted earlier. Yes, I got some fire alarms today for free from my friend Jimmy06. You know, this is the first time I get fire alarms for free. Four of them. Two integrity strobes, which I have next to me. I'll show you those in a bit. I have a Wheelock AS right here. I don't know if you see it. And I have a Spectral Classic that's on the back porch. I'll show you that in a little bit when we do the fire alarm test. I'm also going to power these integrity strobes. Um, they're enhanced integrities, which means that they immediately, once you um, plug it in, they immediately start synchronizing. And break, yeah, I'll show the weather radio in a few moments, actually. I'm going to show that too, because, you know, I also got a weather radio from Brick a couple weeks ago. I'd like to show that off a little bit. I'll show you the alarm and everything, and I'll turn the thing on. Uh, what's up, Warrior of Light? And thank you for your subscription. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I'll show the weather radio. I'll show you my new fire alarms. I'm also in the mo I'm also currently in the process of installing a fire alarm in the science room. It's either going to be this or the Wheelock AS. I'm not too sure yet. I did already have the Commander 3 in here at one point. I could keep it in here, but part of me wants the part of me wants the AS in there. Part of me wants the Commander 3 in here. I'm still making up my mind about that, but you know, I'll worry about that later. But for now, I'm streaming, so of course we're also gonna. I, I might I might wire this one up. I might not, but if I if I if I do wire this one up, I might set it to a different tone. I'm gonna have two integrity remote strobes, two ESC integrity remote strobes. They're 15 candela. It has the red font. One of them is, you know, the fire alerting is coming off and it doesn't have the Candela font, but they're both 15 Candela and they're both enhanced because they, they synchronize. I'll show you that in a little bit. I have them hooked up to my 24 volt DC power supply. I have the Wheelock AS hooked up to my 15 volt DC power supply. If I put the AS in the science room and hook up to my fire alarm system, I was thinking about uh, using the 15 volt DC power supply for the fire alarm system instead of the 12 volt DC power supply because the um, AS does not flash normally unless it has at least 15 volt DC. It does work with a 12 volt adapter, but it flashes slower, which means it's not getting enough power, but it does work. How do I get the Commander 3? Are you talking about this one here? Or are you talking about the one on my wall? This one here I got a couple of years ago, back in May 2021. My mom bought it for me. And then the one up there I actually got uh, from my CBS work experience last summer. The money I got from there, I bought that alarm with. Then this, these, and the classic on the porch I got for free. Didn't have to pay a penny for that. Because we're poor. We can't afford to buy stuff right now. So it felt good to get some alarms for free. So hopefully, hopefully more people can actually send me alarms for free so I don't have to buy them on eBay because we don't have money for that so yeah but this one is my older commander 3 I did have to do some work to it I had to fix the strobe because one point the um it broke when I was taking the thing apart so what I had to do was and I took the thing off and I put wires in here here's there's a red wire and a white wire which I put in there so the strobe works fine now and I also put a new logo cover on it, because if you remember in the past, especially this past summer when I had this alarm in the science room, it did not have its logo cover. And that's because it was missing. So, I luckily found another one, and I put it on there. So, it looks really nice. And I also, 
you know, stripped it up. So I think it looks really nice now. And see, you may not believe me when I told you I took it apart because this, this, uh, this right here is still intact. Usually this will break if you take it apart. But nope, I, I was able to take it apart without breaking that tab, believe it or not. It, it is cracked, but I don't know if you can notice, but it's still there. So, yeah. And the trim plate on here, it says, do not paint. It's not the original trim plate, but I put it on here because I like it. So. Hold on. I gotta respond to Jimmy's comment. I'm not just gonna leave him in the dark because I don't do that. Jimmy forgot to send me that um, red uh, tool for a special plastic, but I didn't need it because I... I'll show you what I used to take it apart if I can find it. The screwdriver that I used. This little tiny thing right here. Ah, fell out of my hands. This little thing right here is what I used to take it apart. You just put it in there and you... Boom, it. You push down and it comes out because I have the newer one that's done. No, I didn't feel an earthquake. So, I told you I was going to show you the weather radio, so I'm going to do that really fast. I'm going to turn this around. So, here it is. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Saturday, the stage was 15.5 feet. The bankful stage is 15.0 feet. So, that's the... When it's off, you'll see this red light. At the bottom, there's a button. Whenever there's an alert, that alarm will sound. So, if there's a flood warning or a severe thunderstorm or whatever, if this is off, that alarm will go off. And I purposely leave this on all the time because I don't want that alarm to scare the living crap out of me because that thing is so startling. Just like that alarm there. And they also put all my lanyards on my um, light again. I, I remember I had them over there, but I put them on my... Um, light thing again just cuz and here will be helpful if I turn my light on um, here's my wheel AS which I just got from Jimmy today it's 1575 Candela fixed I'll test that in a little bit here's one of my Integri remote strobes 15 Candela here's the other one I'm thinking about putting a switch on here so I don't have to plug it in uh, this switch goes to um, that alarm there so I'm thinking about hooking up a switch to this one. Maybe I'll do that later in the live stream before I um, test them. But I have to go to the basement to do that off of the I have to um, get the switch off of that because, yeah, and I'll just hook it up to one of these strobes and we'll be in good shape. It's not going to matter which side. I could probably put it over here maybe so it's not to be confused with this switch. I was definitely considering that. Sorry guys, I was talking to one of my friends. In case you were wondering why I was muted. Did I just lose that screwdriver? Oh my gosh. Oh, we lose stuff. How does it work? Because you just need a power supply, you need some wires. You always want to make sure you use the right type of power because if you don't you can damage your fire alarms 
for example, you know, my fire alarms, here's a screwdriver, it's out. This is a screwdriver right here. So, for example, my, my fire alarms, they run off of 24 volts DC. You always want to see how many volts your alarm, you know, runs by and whether it's AC or DC. Because if you, for example, if you, if you use AC on a DC alarm, you're going to fry it and just kill it. So never use AC on a DC device. I mean, I did that in the past when I was younger when I didn't know, but I learned from that. If you're wondering in my older videos, like I had this one alarm and it sounded awful since I was using AC power when, when that needed DC. So at the time I didn't, you know, think it mattered, but it actually does. So, you know, now I have a couple DC adapters that I use. Again, one is 15 volts DC, the other one is 24 volts DC, the other one is 12 volts DC. And I was thinking about putting the 15 volt DC adapter in. It's a possibility, but I have to figure a way to get the wires to stay. Oh, thank you for the donation, Brick. I appreciate that. Now, I'm also thinking about using my phone, but for today, I just wanted to use the iPad where it has good quality because I want you to see the alarms and, you know, all that. So, again, I'm probably going to head out to the basement shortly. And I'm gonna grab a switch from another vacuum, and then I'll come up here. We'll add a switch to here, so then it'll be powered by a switch. I don't have to keep on plugging this and unplugging it, and yada yada yada. Because yeah, that's annoying. So, but it's also not gonna be confused with this other switch, which goes to my fire alarm system. It turns off the alarm in here. So, I'll have a switch that'll turn on these strobes, and I'll show you how they synchronize. It's obviously not gonna be the same as it would if you see it in person. I wish you could see it the same way you would in person, but you can't, which I don't like. But yeah, it'll still be cool. No, I I don't have some of those alarms anymore. I mean, I'll just send it back to the local but yeah, I'll try to get it taken care of. I'll try to send it. Anyways, um, so yeah, because it's a pain in the butt to have to keep on plugging the thing in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a switch in there. I could probably keep this plugged in, but it'll have a switch. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna leave this one in here or if I'm gonna uh, keep the AS in here. I'm still thinking about that, but that'll be something I'll worry about later. And the classic upkeep on the porch, I wanted to keep the Command of Three out there. But I also wanted the classic out there pretty desperately. So I just said, you know what, I'm putting the classic out there. You know, no matter how much I want the Command of Three out there desperately. Because I already have one in here, but I do want to keep the one out there. But I can either put this one in the science room or put the AS in the science room. And I'll, you know, I'll tell you a secret about the AS. That thing is extremely loud. So I could probably put the Commander 3 in there, because the Commander 3 is not as loud, even though it is loud, but I'll tell you what, AS is a thousand times worse. I mean, it doesn't matter what power supply you use, that AS is loud, equally loud, even with just 12 volts. You guys remember my 9-volt DC power supply I had? Unfortunately, that one stopped working, which I was upset about, but, you know, stuff happens, so... But on the other power supply still work. Now this one here I had for many, many years, ever since 2018 when I was living at the old house. And this one still works, so. Yeah. But I'll show you these going off when we do our fire alarm testing later on. So. This stream will, this stream will probably be like three or so. Um, you know, maybe two and a half hours, something like that. So. Why are you talking about the solar eclipse? Yeah, we did have a solar eclipse back on um, Monday. It was really cool. My neighbors gave me these uh, solar eclipse glasses, so I actually got to see the eclipse. And I'm keeping these glasses for the next time we have a solar eclipse, which will probably not be forever, but I know these, these will still probably come in handy because these are, um, I wish uh, it was a total eclipse in my area, but where I live, it was only partial, but I'll tell you what, it looked really cool in person. It kind of looked like a crescent, but that was actually the sun. That was a partial eclipse. For a moment outside, it kind of got dimmer, but it wasn't fully dark. But as I was making the solar eclipse video, 
Um, the next solar eclipse will happen either 2031 or 2044, one of those years. Yeah, because I mean, if, if you look directly at it, it's not good for your eyes. So that's what those glasses are for. It also, you know, helps you to see it better. Because either way without it, you couldn't see it because the sun's too bright, so. But it'll also, you know, damage your eyes. So that's what those glasses are for. It helps you to see the eclipse. So it's really, really cool. So hopefully my area will get a total eclipse eventually. Because I, I, I've never experienced a total eclipse. I, I, I experienced a partial eclipse the other day. But I never experienced a solar eclipse. And I would love to... Ex well, I never experienced a total eclipse. I want to experience that because a total eclipse, it gets fully dark out. Because the moon completely goes in front of the sun. Completely blocks it. So you can imagine how that looks. It's a total eclipse. So yeah, I would love to see that. So yeah, we'll take a... We'll take a... You know, we'll take the switch wires and we'll just wire it up in this interior strobe. And it actually doesn't matter which one, but... I'll hook it up to this one because that one already has enough stuff wired up to it so i'll just yeah yeah i remember the um 2017 eclipse but i wasn't i don't think that one came to my area at all not even partially but this this uh monday eclipse did we got a partial i was hoping we, we'd be in the path of totality but we weren't but i'm still happy i got, I got to see some of it it's still an experience, you know? But I, I do wish we had those eclipses more often. Yeah, Brick, that sucks. But, um, yeah, if we got eclipses more often, that would be really cool. But, you know, they only happen once in a great while. I think we're gonna have another one in a few months, but it's not gonna be around here. It's not even gonna be in the United States. It's 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 gonna be on a totally different part of the world, because that's what the radio said. Who knows if it's true or not? But you could donate your glasses, but no, I'm keeping mine for another eclipse. So, yeah. Yeah, you can't see it the same through a camera as you can in person, which I don't like. I wish the camera could show it the same way as you could in person. That'd be really cool. Yeah, looking at a solar eclipse, it can get you in trouble with your eyes. You won't be, you know, you'll be blind and you won't be able to see. That would suck. I wouldn't want that. Screw that. Oh, and you also might see my Vista Rewind Smart Clean back there as well. I do have that. My Navigator Lift Away is on the back porch. I don't know if we're going to use that today, but we are going to use the Smart Clean later on when we vacuum. So, yeah. And by the way, if you don't know, I, I have a rug in here. This is the old living room rug. You probably recognize this rug. I have it in here now. Because we did get a new rug in the living room last week. My neighbor George gave it to me. Because it was sitting out there on the fence, you know, where those garbage cans are at his house. It was sitting out there for a couple days, and I was like, hey, I I wonder if he's going to get rid of that, throw it out, or what he's going to do. So I asked him for it, and he told me, you can feel free to take this, my friend. So I took it, I set it up in the living room, and boom, you got a new living room rug. It's much, much wider than this one is. Yeah, we're going to vacuum at the end of the live stream, as we always do. I might bring my navigator lift way in here, but I might not. But we'll definitely use the Bissell, for sure. Guaranteed. Um, and I would use my rotator, but I have to get that one fixed first, because the, uh, the head on that thing is even more in bad shape as it was before. This time the brush totally doesn't work, and the headlights are super dim. And I'm not happy, because I don't have money to get that fixed either, so I'm pissed. Because I like that damn vacuum. So I'm tired of waiting to get money. But I've already been waiting long enough for it, and we still don't have it. It's bullcrap. I want to get my vacuums fixed. 
you know, I'm happy I got a nice fire alarm, so now I need to get my vacuum fixed. Hell yeah, it's a red stream. You got that right. That's what the, this is. Felicity Red. Color red. Because originally I wasn't going to stream until Steve um, was back to normal streaming. But because he's not streaming today, I figured I would take over for him. I would take over for him. And I know I haven't done a live stream in a while. Mainly because of his new schedule, we had to stream in public, and because his, you know, his mother and her boyfriend are just being ignorant and don't want to turn the internet back on. But he needs to do more. You know, if I were him, like like you said, Brick, you know, he he should bug his mother's boyfriend to turn it on since he's the one who's in charge. Or better yet, Steve should just find the account number himself and do it. Catchphrases. Yeah, you're more than welcome to use them too, by the way. I don't care. Um, also, if, if you want to see a lot more about my new fire alarms, you can check my Facebook and Instagram. My story shows it all. So check them now before it's too late because it expires, you know, tomorrow, the day after I post them. You know, honestly, Brick, I, I think, you know, I, I like your, new, excuse me, I think you have a nice username. And as much as, you know, I think it's a little bit petty how some people, you know, don't want to reveal their real names, but, you know, everyone's different. I'm not going to shame people for that. Because not everyone's the same. Some people just want to keep their real name private to online friends. I can understand, so it's okay. But I have no problem referring to you as Brick. So don't worry, uh, your real name will be kept anonymous on here. You know, same with Funny Guys, even though he doesn't care, you know, if, you know, we call him by his real name anymore, but still, I still rather call him Funny Guy regardless, because first of all, that's what I'm used to calling him, and second of all, that's a better name for him than his real name anyways, to be honest with you. Funny Guy's a good name. So, I'll continue to call him that, because that's what I'm used to calling him. So, yeah. Fresh the chat on my phone. I need I need a new phone. Of course, it still works, but uh, if we could get some more damn money, I could buy some more crap. It's ridiculous. I'm tired of waiting. I understand times are rough, but still, it's frustrating. It's boring. So for the time being, I'm just gonna spend time with my new fire alarms, because yeah, those will keep me occupied. So. So I'm definitely grateful for those. And thanks to my friend Jimmy06. I did I did give I did give him a shout out in that video. Yeah, some people are just more anonymous than others. And you have to respect that because for one, you don't want to make your friends uncomfortable. As much as, you know, to you, it might seem a little bit, you know, I don't know, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but at the end of the day, you want to respect people for what they want to keep personal. You don't want to shame people for it. Oh, you don't want to reveal your real name? Oh, you're a pussy. Well, you know, not really. Because some people just like to keep that private. So, you need to respect that. Like, sure, you don't have to agree with it. Fine, but don't bash people for it. Some people just want to keep certain things to themselves, so, yeah. It's just like Josh, he doesn't want to have his real name exposed either, so, you know, because you know, he's his own person, so, yeah, I, and I, I respect that. And speaking of Josh, I saw he went live today, I was asleep when he was live, I would have joined or, you know, said something in the chat, but I was asleep, so I didn't to watch it. Um, so yeah. 
Again, I'm also I'm in the process of reopening up the science room. I'm gonna be doing that tonight after my stream. And I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put an alarm in there. It's it's gonna either be the Commander Three or the AS. It's a classic. He's gonna stay on the back porch. They already again. They already have a Commander Three up here. Cause I, I did have this in the science room once before. Remember that? And you might put it in there again. Cause this, this thing is extremely loud. It's ear piercing. I don't know, the science room, it, it, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's a science, it's a science experiment room, it's a place to hang out, so, haven't done much science experiment videos, I'm not sure if I will, I can try to, but, you know, in general, I, I like having a fire alarm in there, and, you know, yeah. But I posted videos of some science experiments, if you want to check it out, I do have a playlist, so that'll tell you a lot more. Like for example, I one experiment I did was um, baking soda and vinegar. Another one was um, diet coke and Mentos, and I did that one outside. Uh, but the rest of them mainly consisted in that room. Before I did them on the stairwell of my basement, but then I moved them to um, the science room. Yeah, Brick, that'd be really cool, but I'm not sure if I'll have a way to get to New York City because my, my mom can't drive me because, you know, for one, her car needs new tires. She needs to have engine work done, so she would most likely break down if she tried to drive me there. That'd be way too long of a drive. She probably won't even have, I mean, she could probably get enough gas, but yeah, she needs to get her car fixed, if anything else. And besides, I'd probably have to stay up all night for that just so I could sleep during the car ride because that'd be way too damn long and miserable. But yeah, Brick, I definitely like the idea we could pay for fast food. That'd be really cool. It's just, gotta figure out a way to get there. And not to mention, I gotta become more social too first because... And then being in public by myself is extremely stressful because I have severe social anxiety. And by the way, I, I am I do have therapy for that now, but unfortunately it's gonna take a while until it's fully recovered, which I, I don't like, but I have to hang in there and yeah. So just just one step at a time, I guess, you know. I don't know if I'm going to hook up the 15 volt DC adapter tonight. If I don't, I'll probably do it tomorrow or Monday or whenever. Um, so yeah. And this week was also my spring break and I hate to see it end. You know, I'm, I'm not ready to go back yet. But I, I honestly, I don't think anybody is. Because you're on break, you know, now you're into the, the break mood. You know, the spring break mood. But when I go back to the academy, this is actually our final quarter of the year. So we only have to get through the rest of this month. We have to get through the full month of May. And then, you know, not even the half of June to get through. We get out either June 11th or the 12th. And that's it. I so can't wait for the summer to come. I so can't wait. I'm already prepared for it. Can it not come any faster? I'm so ready. But I, I have to talk to the people at my academy again because they're, they're coddling me and treating me like a kid again, which is ridiculous. I'm not going to let that go on because I'm not a kid. I'm a damn adult. So learn how to treat me like it. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, I'm not going to get into that much. But, yeah, you get the point. Also, I, I almost had a new door installed on here, but it was too, um, it wasn't wide enough. It was white and it had like a window on there, but I, yeah, you know, before I you know, took this off and installed it, it wasn't long enough, so I, I just left this one on here. Yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you doing today? Yeah, 
Yeah, so those are the basic changes in here. My lanyards are up on my um, light switch again. I have a rug in here now. I have the smart clean in here again. Um, I Oh, I forgot. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I now have um, one of these. I just recently got this in here. Of course, I have my white one over there. And no worries, Jimmy, you're fine. So, a fire alarm voice back without a panel, you just, you need an amplifier, an audio source. It's the main thing you need. And, you know, the, the thing that has a headphone jack and hook up, hooks up to the amplifier, I did have to get one of those. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So, yeah. already getting dark out but you know, the good news is at least the weather is finally getting nice out it's not freezing cold anymore it's also you know it's getting darker later now too of course because after that time change but that was over a month ago but still and this right here is my you know favorite time of year it's actually this is the best time of year because it's all beginning you know, when August comes, it's all depressing because the summer's ending. Bulletproof tires? No, I don't think she has that. But she needs to get new ones because they're worn out. I mean, they're not bald or anything. They still have okay tread, but they're worn out. But we need to get more money because there's things that need to be done and have to be paid for. I'm not going to get in too much of it because my mom doesn't want me to reveal it. Even though I don't mind to reveal it. But I don't, I don't want my mom to see this and get mad at me because I revealed it. Because that's what she does. I don't need that crap. But yeah. You know, we, we were just in a problem with money. And yeah. It's pretty bad. And I don't have a car but my mom does. And I, I did drive it before, but I did run into a similar issue that Brick did at one point. And that was also when I was going to make another video, but after that thing happened, I just canceled it. There was no damage, but I could probably make another video again, but I, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. If I have time to with the car because right now I got these new alarms so you know what I'm going to focus on that first because I really do like these alarms so I'm going to switch for this before we test it so by the time we test it I'll have the switch installed I'll wire it up to this integrity and then we'll have a switch we don't have to unplug it and plug it in all the time which is that's a pain in the butt I don't like doing that so The Air Raid Master, that's true. And if Steve has to do a public live stream next week, he has to see that video. I mean, at least in his free time, he needs to watch the whole thing. Because that's urgent. He really needs to see that. Very seriously. I'm turn the radio on, but I have to keep it low. Good song. Hope I don't get a copyright. Yeah, good music. Keep it low. I can hear it a little bit, but hopefully. Because, you know, even Steve, when he did his public streams, he had music in there. And, yeah. As long as it doesn't get blocked, then who cares? I feel bad for Steve too. I hope things get better, but he does need to do more than he already has.
yeah, I remember that crap, but whatever, that was a while back. Oh yeah, Angry Grandpa's funny. Next time I stream, I might use my phone with the go live together, which means people can join. Only one person at a time, though, which is stupid. I wish it was like streaming where we could have more people join, but only one person at a time. I don't like that. I wish they would update that. We could have more people to join. Yeah, on my dad's side, I have siblings, but not on my mother's side. Yeah, I remember when Angry Grandpa died, I was crying. I, you know, it was mainly after uh, the Angry Grandpa tr tribute video was posted. I was crying to that song. That, that, was a, that was a beautiful song, too. The Most Sensible Thing by Angry Grandpa. Like, the, he, he was covering from uh, Waylon Jennings or whatever. No NJ fan, I did not hear about that. But yeah, I still watch Angry Grandpa. He keep his legacy alive, unlike his son. Yeah, who the heck throws a chair? Only someone who's psychotic and angry would do that. I might make Finichini later too in the live stream, but we'll see. I do have some leftover barbecue steak and um, bread and butter, but it wasn't very good to be honest with you. Like, honestly, it's actually toast because I toasted it in the toaster, but um. Honestly, I like bread and butter better when it's just bread instead of toast. Because you fry it in the toaster, then it becomes toast. That's why it's called a toaster, get it? I mean, 2022 had its good moments and bad moments, but I always try to focus on the good things. It's just like with 2020, for example, with that crap that happened, you know. But I'll tell you, the summer of that year was awesome. Because I got to hang out with my friend a lot. Like, pretty much almost every single day I got to go over there. I got to go swimming, have fun with the leaf blowers. That was one hell of a summer. That stupid thing about special ed, they limit autistics and disabled kids. Like, we shouldn't limit autistics and disabled people. Like, they can't do most things that regular ed... Exactly, and that's because of learning disabilities. Yeah, we'll, we'll test the alarms later. And I'll even take you out to the back porch and show you the classic. So, my next stream, whatever alarm I have in the science room, I'll probably try to show that too. There's not the best lighting in there, so I'll probably have to bring my phone for the flashlight. That'll help a little bit. I don't care about Morgan Wallen, honestly. Yeah. Yep, Happy Autism Awareness Month. So yeah, my dad's side, you know, I have siblings, yes. Like, they're, and they're, they're all females, too. They're, you know, they're all girls. Those are all his daughters. But I'm the only boy sibling, but, you know, I obviously don't live with him. You know, I'm with my mom. Hey, I'm autistic and I'm proud of it. It's not the autism that's the problem. 
It's the shyness and loneliness of disabilities that's the issue, and being sensitive. Because how can you blame autism when, you know, not all autistic people have the same struggles? It's different for everyone, even autistic people, so that, that's why you can't blame autism. Because if you're blaming autism, that means you're pretty much saying it's the same for everyone. It's not. So that's why you shouldn't blame the autism. Yeah, yeah, that Last Night by Morgan Allen, yeah, I don't care about that song. Same thing with Fast Car by Luke Combs. My friend likes it, and I can completely respect that. To be honest with you, when I first heard that song, I didn't mind it, but after hearing it, I can't even tell you how many times that song overplayed. It got freaking annoying. It's like the station 94.7 WMAS overplayed it, so that's why I listened to a 107.7 WACC. Cause that's actually that that station is, um, is broadcasted in my town, and th th that's a damn good station too. And that's what I'm listening to right now. They're doing classic rock. But I honestly don't think we need a cure for autism because, you know, again, autism is not the problem. If you're saying we need a cure for autism, you're pretty much saying that, you know, autism causes problems for everyone. It's not the autism. It's the learning disabilities. It's the social anxiety, the shyness, the sensitivity. Those are the problems. It's not the autism itself. Because not all autistic... There could be an autistic person who is totally social, for example. So you can't sit there and blame the autism. Not to start drama, but I'm sick and tired of Aaron always complaining and saying, Oh, I hate having autism. I hate being an adult. It's like, come on. That's not how you act when you're growing up. I didn't act like that when I was freaking 14 or 15. They've seriously had enough of it. It's gotta stop. You see? I'm irritated by that. So seriously. You gotta knock that crap off, Aaron. Cause I'm done with it. Look at my face. I'm not smiling. I'm serious. This is ridiculous. You need to be more mature, Aaron. If you want to appreciate, appreciate the crap you have and to focus on the positive things and stop blaming the damn autism, dude. Blame the shyness. Blame the social anxiety. Blame the sensitivity. Blame the learning disabilities. Blame all that, not the autism. Like, seriously. It's ridiculous. Exactly. It, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a part of life. You can't control it. You can't do nothing about it. Why complain over crap you can't, you know, control? Let's see if other stations are playing good music or if they're playing crappy modern music. Oh, for a George Line! talking about hey I changed the station at the right time look at that this right here is Felicity music You can't blame the autism. And listen, I don't support there being a cure for autism either, but you can't 
say that as an excuse to, you know, make autism a bad thing. Because being autistic is honestly a gift. You should appreciate it. You know, not judge it. Uh, this is worth a copyright notice for. You just ate? Uh, no problem. I'm gonna eat soon too. I'm not the biggest fan of country, but this here is banger stuff. Hell yeah. Nothing like good old country. Even for a Jordan Lions new country. Kicks ass. Tyler Hubbard and Brian Kelly. Those people are just amazing. And they're, they're really nice too. Last station is just playing a stupid modern music. Uh, crap, I don't want to set an alarm. Rock, classic rock, that's the best. Taylor Swift and Doja Cat both suck. I mean, Taylor Swift's old music is be is better, but her new songs, ah, oh, they're freaking awful. I'll put it on 1029. That's classic rock. Heck yeah. Nothing beats the 80s, let me tell you. You know, yeah, Rage Master, I agree. I can't stand that freaking song either. It's so obnoxious and overplayed. Like, same thing with that stupid ass Cruel Summer. It's like, stop overplaying that damn crap. Like, nobody likes that, so why are you playing that? heard of that warrior of light I don't know if that's a song I'd never heard of it I'll put it back on 177 that's my favorite station. 1077 WACC. I like that station along with 947, but some songs I don't like, you know, play on there. So even 1077, they sometimes they'll play the stupid Billie Eilish. All I do is just change the station. You know how I feel about Billie Eilish. She's a freaking skank. I still hate her just as badly as I did when I ranted on her, like almost four years ago. She's a freaking skank. Why, like, why, why do you like that crap? You know, she honestly needs to be prosecuted. Like, whose idea was it to add her in the music industry for? She's a joke. I never really listened to that song much, Rage Master, but I'll say it's okay. Because I, I did hear it before. So, I'll say it's okay. Not, 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 not the best in the world, but it's decent. Yeah, exactly. Olivia Rodrigo, she's crappy too. 
Tate McRae, yeah, she sucks. Doja Cat, Dua Lipa, like, they all suck. They're all trash ass. Like, why play that garbage for? If nobody likes it, why are you playing it? It's like, we don't want to hear modern. We want to hear old. Miley Cyrus, her, you know, her older songs are good, like Party in the USA, for example, and Wrecking Ball. But her new songs are now I don't really care for. They're, they're not as bad as, you know, Tate McRae and Olivia Rodrigo, for example, but, I mean, they're still not my favorite. Don't Stop Believing. This is a good song, too. I'm not really a big rap person. I guess I'll listen to it, but it's not something that I enjoy by much. Like maybe some songs are a little fascinating, but not that fascinating. Bon Jovi. That flag right there, I was thinking of putting that in the science room. And by the way, yep. We we're gonna ask where I put that green graduation poster. I put that up there. Ugh. Well, it's cool, Tomar. Oh God! Like, why are you playing that trash, bro? Come on. If nobody likes it, why are you playing it for? Like these radio station hosts, they must be freaking delusional and. I think we like it when we don't. Yeah, I appreciate having it, you know. Don't complain about it. And you know, not to mention, you know, no one's gonna no one's gonna like you much if you complain. You need to act mature. I appreciate the little things you have in life. And the weekend's alright. I, I like the I like his older songs though. His, you know, his newer songs now, I don't like Can't Feel My Face, Starboy, In the Night. Uh, the Hills, those are good songs. But his newer songs, you know, Blinding Lights. You know couple of other new songs I don't really care about. I mean, I, I guess Baby's an okay song, but I can understand why people find it annoying. I don't hate it with the passion. It's definitely not as bad as Billie Eilish crap, I'll say it that far. I'd, ra I'd rather listen to Justin Bieber's Baby than Billie Eilish Bad Guy. Yeah, Selena Gomez, her older songs are good, but her newer, newer songs I don't care about either. Like, a lot of the artists that have been around for a while, they have good older songs, but their new songs are, yeah. Modern pop for you, modern music. Yeah, one of my in-person friends like Billie Eilish, and I don't understand why, because she's terrible. Terrible as a person, terrible as an artist. Not even original. She steals from other people. You don't do that when you're an artist. You need to be original. 
No, I never heard about. Yeah, but Ariana Grande is okay, but yeah. Same thing with her. Her older songs are better, like Dangerous Woman, The Way, featuring Mac Miller, and God is a Woman. But you know, oh, you know, Side to Side. That's a good song too. But her newer songs now. Oh yeah, New Tears, New uh, No Tears Left to Cry. That was good. But her new songs now, I'm not a fan of. I mean, they're not super obnoxious, but still, I'm not a big, the biggest fan of them. So, yeah. yeah. It's my first time having integrity remote strokes. I like how they're made out of, like, you know, like the, the red is all metal. On the horn stroke, it's all plastic. I like how this is metal. It makes it more durable. Of course, the straw itself is all plastic. But, you know, the metal on here is uh, the. I just, I just said it. The, the casing, the covering is all metal. Uh, what's up, Ariel Sky twenty five ninety six? Ah. And I pronounced your name right. I should be proud of myself. Oh yeah, Michael Jackson is badass. Mike, Mike, uh, Michael Jackson is the GOAT, the king of music, the king of pop. Michael Jackson is the man. And yeah, again, Ariel Sky, I definitely agree with you there. Justin Bieber may not be perfect, but he is nowhere as bad as Billie Eilish and crap. Like, I, I can tolerate his songs more than, like, Billie Eilish. Yeah, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. Great music artist, great icon. Like, I remember one time I was with my friends and there was a stupid Billy Eilish song on the radio. I was like, turn that stupid crap off. I don't want to hear that dumbass song. And I still don't like that song to this day. If you ever play that crap in front of me, I'll tell you to turn that crap off. I don't want to hear that trash. You're supporting someone who's unoriginal and steals from other people? Really? I just remembered I have a soda. Remember which one is flat and which one oh, one of them is empty. Cool, so I'm not gonna worry about flat soda. Mm. This one is good. Awesome. If Michael Jackson was still alive, he would have been 65 years old. Yeah, I wish he was still alive. He was way too young to die. Oh my god, Rage Master. Don't, don't even get me started on that stupid piece of crap, Senorita song. Thank god the station stopped playing that stupid crap. Thank god. That right there is one of the worst ones. Let me tell you. Ugh. So, okay, I'm gonna go take a trip down to the basement. I have to get a switch for the, the integrity strobes. And then I'll show show you what they look like. So I have to go do that. But before I do, I, I want to keep you guys entertained. So I might just turn my weather radio on so you can hear it while I'm gone. Eastern daylight time Saturday was 112 feet. Forecast: The river is expected to rise to a crest of 112.8 feet just after midnight tonight. It will then fall below flood stage early tomorrow afternoon. Flood stage is 112.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Hartford. When until further notice.
Impacts include at 21.0 feet. Flooding is expected along the river in portions of Weathersfield, Glastonbury, and Rocky Hill. The high waters and swift flows will disrupt some cross river ferry services. Upstream of Hartford flooding will continue to affect portions of Windsor. Immediate river roads may become impassable. Further downstream flooding will likely result in the evacuation of low lying areas along River Road in Cromwell and River Road in Portland. Flooding increases along the river from Middletown to Old Saybrook. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Saturday the stage was 18.4 feet. The bankful stage is 16.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Saturday was 18.4 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 20.6 feet early tomorrow afternoon. Flood stage is 16.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Middle Ohio. When, until further notice. Impacts include at 9.5 feet, flooding closes most of Meadow Road, Route 17 in the Gildersleeve section of Portland. Flooding impacts the Little Town Marina and Meadow Farms. In Cornwall, portions of River Road will be closed. In Rocky Hill, parts of Meadow Road will be impassable for a time. Flooding continues along the river southward through Essex. At 10.55. So I have this old vacuum that has a switch. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take it apart and I'm for sure gonna save these screws so I can you know, use them on something else. I love Guns N' Roses. Hey Britt, you, you want me to keep it on? I'll keep it on for it if you want. Can we turn it back up? Yeah, no problem. Safety slash flood. Here are the 8 p.m. observations for the Hartford metropolitan area. At Brainerd Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature was 47 degrees, with dew point 38, and the relative humidity 71%. The wind was west at 10 miles an hour, gusting to 21 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.69 inches and rising. Elsewhere around the region, in northern Connecticut I don't, I don't and Riley Airport, mostly it's, it's the middle one. 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 In Worcester, cloudy, temperature 43, wind west at 15, gusting to 25. In Orange, mostly cloudy, temperature 44, wind west at 8, gusting to 17. And in Fitchburg, cloudy, temperature 46, wind west at 8. Once again, repeating the 8 p.m. weather for the Hartford metropolitan area, it was cloudy. The temperature was 47 and the wind was west at 10, gusting to 21. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for northern Connecticut and southwest Massachusetts, including Hartford and Springfield, issued at 7.05 p.m., Saturday, April 13th. Tonight, mostly cloudy with scattered showers until midnight, then partly cloudy after midnight. Lows in the upper 30s. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs around 60. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain until midnight. Lows in the upper 40s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-60s, except around 60 above 1,000 feet. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Monday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 40s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tuesday, sunny. 
Highs in the mid 60s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Tuesday night, mostly clear until midnight, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wednesday, partly sunny in the morning, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 60s. East winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south in the afternoon. Not getting screws out. Chance of rain 50%. Wednesday night, showers likely. Lows in the mid 40s. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Thursday, mostly cloudy. Showers likely, mainly in the morning. Highs in the upper 50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming northeast in the afternoon. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Chance of rain 60%. Thursday night through Friday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers until midnight. A chance of showers. Lows in the lower 40s. Highs around 60. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Saturday, partly sunny. A chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 50s. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Now you're 30%. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for Northern Connecticut and Southwest Massachusetts, including Hartford and Springfield, issued at 7.04 p.m. Saturday, April 13th. Tonight, mostly cloudy with scattered showers until midnight, then partly cloudy after midnight. Lows in the upper 30s. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs around 60. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain until midnight. Lows in the upper 40s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 60s, except around 60 above 1,000 feet. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 20. Look at all we got here. Hour. We got a switch. Flood warning now in effect until Monday morning. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Johnsonville. When? Until Monday morning. Impacts include at 15.0 feet, low-end flooding will begin along the Connecticut River near Thompsonville. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday the stage was 15.5 feet. The thankful stage is 15.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday was 15.5 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 15.5 feet this afternoon. It will then fall below flood stage early Monday morning. Flood stage is 15.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect until tomorrow evening. Look at that. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Don't worry, it's not going to Connecticut River at Northampton. When? Until tomorrow evening. Impacts include at 113.0 feet, minor flooding will affect portions of Northampton in the vicinity of the Oxbow and Hadley along Aquavity Road. Farming interests in Headfield outside Farm Dyke Protection will experience flooding. At 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday the stage was 112.4 feet. The thankful stage is 112.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday was 112.5 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 112.8 feet just after midnight tonight. It will then fall below flood stage early tomorrow afternoon. Flood stage is 112.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash Flood. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. 
Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Hartford. When, until further notice. Impacts include a 21.0 feet. Flooding is expected along the river in portions of Weathersfield, Glastonbury and Rocky Hill. The high waters and swift flows will disrupt some cross-river ferry services. Upstream of Hartford flooding will continue to affect portions of Windsor. Immediate river roads may become impassable. Further downstream flooding will likely result in the evacuation of low-lying areas along River Road in Cromwell and River Road in Portland. Flooding increases along the river from Middletown to Old Seabrook. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday the stage was 18.4 feet. The bankful stage is 16.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday was 18.4 yeah. feet. It works. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 20.6 feet early tomorrow afternoon. Flood stage is 16.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. This is No Weather Radio, the voice of the National Weather Service, bringing you the latest weather forecasts, warnings, and other weather information, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. There's a switch off the side. WXJ41 serves the city of Hartford and surrounding portions of Connecticut, and the city of Springfield and surrounding Four portions eight. of the Connecticut River Valley in one. Massachusetts. We broadcast at a frequency of 162.475 megahertz from a tower located on Substone Mountain in Summers, Connecticut. I have a... Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Middle Ohio. When, until further notice. Impacts include at 9.5 feet, flooding closes most of Meadow Road, Route 17 in the Gildersleeve section of Portland. Flooding impacts the little town Marina and Meadow Farms. In Cornwall, portions of River Road will be closed. In Rocky Hill, parts of Meadow Road will be impassable for a time. Flooding continues along the river southward through Essex. At 10.55 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday, the stage was 8.2 feet. The bankful stage is 7.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.55 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday was 8.3 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 9.9 .9 feet Monday morning. Flood stage is 7.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Yay, yeah, look at that. Here are the eight Have a little bit of technical difficulties, but I got it. Area. At Brainerd Airport, it was cloudy. The temperature Here, I'll show was 7 degrees, the 2.38, and the relative humidity 71%. The wind was west at 10 miles an hour, resting to 21 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.69 inches. The switch is right there. Hooked up to this one. See, 15 Candela. This switch is to the fire alarm system, and this switch goes to these integrity strobes. You can see they're both synchronized. And this one here, we're going to test shortly. I just had to turn the integrity on and see the switch works, and it does. Thank you. 
That thing is incredibly loud. Let me tell you what. It's going off again. Alright. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn this down. Don't you dare think about falling over. Or else I'm going to give you this. Turn these on and... Yeah! Yeah, I'll tell you, that thing is loud as heck. Then we have this one leaving this poor thing out. But yeah, I'll plug it in for the heck of it. If I don't want to use my uh, unless I use that one, I could just turn that one on and show you the special plastic. So I, I am, I do want to do that too. So. Yep. It's nice when you have your own switch, you know. So I had to set that up. I had to. I love it when they do a classic rock. Okay, we get rid of this thing. We have a switch all set up, so yeah. We obviously don't need that no more. I'll turn the radio back on because I'm going to leave again for a sec. Tonight, mostly cloudy with scattered showers until midnight, then partly cloudy after midnight. Lows in the upper 30s. The rest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs around 60. The rest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain until midnight. Lows in the upper 40s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 50%. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 60s, except around 60 above 1,000 feet. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Flood warning now in effect until Monday morning. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Johnsonville. When, until Monday morning. Impacts include at 15.0 feet, low end flooding will begin along the Connecticut River near Johnsonville. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday, the stage was 15.5 feet. The rainfall stage is 15.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday was 15.5 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 15.5 feet this afternoon. It will then fall below flood stage early Monday morning. Flood stage is 15.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect until tomorrow evening. Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include Connecticut River at Northampton. When, until tomorrow evening, impacts include at 113.0 feet. Minor flooding will affect portions of Northampton in the vicinity of the Oxford and Hadley along Aquavity Road. Farming interests in Headfield outside Flood Dyke Protection will experience flooding. At 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday, the stage was 112.4 feet. The rainfall stage is 112.0 feet. 
Decent activity with a maximum middle age speech in the 24 hours ending at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Anthony Studios, I don't know much about that because I don't watch that, so unfortunately I don't know how to answer that for you. But I would recommend asking someone who does watch it because maybe they could know how to answer, but I don't. Because I'm not into that kind of stuff, if you know what I mean. because we're going to hang up some posters in the science room later. What does a switch look like? Here. I have I have a spare one in here, my drawer. It looks like this. It's one of these. Yeah, those brick, those games are okay, but I the Super Mario Brothers Wii was my favorite when I was younger. I do kind of miss that one, but I, I never really played anything else. Alright guys, what do you say we do some vacuuming? Let's do some vacuuming. We're going to use my Bissell Y Smart thing for the vacuuming today. So I'm going to set that up. I'm going to put it right here. In case you didn't know, I put my beacon light up here and turn that on. There we go. Look at that. All right. Now we're going to get started with the vacuum. Okay, we're using my Spark Clean. And now I have a rug, so we can now uh, use the rug to vacuum, which is really nice. Actually, guys, you know what? I have something new. Give me one second. I have something new that we're going to do. Oh, by the way, I did get uh, new batteries in my smoke alarm, so we're going to test that too today. tried this the other day when I was attempting to make a video. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So see how it turns out in a live stream. What do you say we do a vacuum view like this? What do you think of that? Don't you like that? Huh? What do you guys think of that? Sorry if my bed's a little messy, but yeah, excuse that. So yeah, this is um, our new setup. So we're gonna get started with the vacuuming. So ready guys, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, you 
like that? Look at all that fine dust that we picked up. That's a lot of fine dust. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna dump it. But not in the garbage can, you know where we're gonna dump it? Right in here on my rug. Because I wanna pick it all up again. Here we go. fine dust look at all that look at all that fine dust in there see that that is a lot of fine particles the dirt just sticks to the dirt up there. 
I got a nice clean rug. Is all tangled, yay! How lovely! All right, so how was that? You guys like that? Did you guys like that angle better? Honestly, I did. Ugh. All right, am I gonna? Uh, um. No, because I'm gonna spend the rest of the night to myself. Cause I gotta, I have work I gotta do in my science room. So, yeah. But for the rest of this stream, what I'm gonna do? Remember, we're doing a fire alarm test. I'm gonna show you the Spectrum Classic out there. In fact, before we set it off, I'll, I'll show you. There's no light out here whatsoever, so I have to use a flashlight. A thousand percent, I need a flashlight out here. Okay, right there is the Spectral Classic that is on the back porch. So, in a few moments, you're going to see and hear it go off. First thing I'm going to do... We're going to power my integrity strobes. We're going to power the AS. We're going to power the Command 3 and the Classic. I'll put the chair back in here so I can you know, have somewhere to put the um, iPad on. So I don't have to hold it with my hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I'll flip the switch on the strobes. You'll see me do that. that they didn't give you the right battery but sometimes that crap happens where you know you need something and they end up you know giving you the wrong one. i want you to be able to see the as too though i don't think it's catching the as get a good angle if I can. This thing won't fall over. I may have to have a camera like this. Yeah, it's the only way it'll work. Just hopefully it won't fall over on me. And if, if it doesn't, then we're in good shape. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be okay. So, Grab my flashlight so you can see it. So this, you see this, you see this right here? This is a switch to turn the strobes on. I just flip it, and boom, they're flashing. Instantly in sync. The 15 candela, so they're not super bright, but you do see them when they flash. And then if I come over here to turn on the AS, what I do. I already have it plugged in. I'm going to try to set it off so I don't have to keep on holding the thing because that would be a pain in the butt, right? So what I like to do, use my best judgment. Uh, it's only a stroll. We need more than that. Come on. Give me a moment, guys. There we go. All right. So loud. All right.
close this door because this is loud. What do you think of that, huh? Yay, 75 candela. Man, that thing is loud, let me tell you. All right. Turn the ropes off, just flip the switch again, and boom, they're off. So that is my fire alarm test. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it a lot more Felicity Red than previous fire alarm tests. And this is the order we'll do it from now on. Hopefully this thing isn't loud enough to wake up the dead. And um, yeah, this is gonna conclude my live stream for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to have a fantastic rest of your day, everyone. I will talk to you guys later. Um, so, yeah. Dale Sister Demand is signing off. I'm going to just go do some work in the science room. And whenever Steve goes live at his normal time, or if he doesn't go live at all, I will take over for him. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the live stream, and hopefully you really liked seeing my new fire alarms. And, of course, I'll use them again in my upcoming live stream, so... Be sure to stay tuned for that. And hopefully Steve will get his internet back, and if so, I will do my live streaming at the normal times. So yeah, folks, Felicity Red, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night, everybody. Well, I definitely will do another soon. Hang in there.